Hello and welcome. This is Madeline from Sonic Bloom again. Today we're going to kick off a new mini series called Beyond the One Bar Loop, in which we're going to have a look at the different features in Ableton Live that allow you to create variations to short audio loops. In this first video, we're going to have a look at the features in the sample box. Um, I've already selected three short audio loops that we're going to use to create the variations with throughout the whole series. And I'm going to play the first clip. And as you can see in here, even though this is technically a, a loop that's two bars long. It's actually, you know, identical. The the same. It's the same waveforms and the same thing being repeated in the first and a second bar. All right. So let's have a look at the sample box here. So the sample box for the two be visible, you're going to have to have the clip selected, so you have the clip view open. And the first thing we could do is we can simply reverse the clip. To do this, I'm actually going to keep the original so we can always use that as a starting point again as well. So I'm just going to do Command D to duplicate the clip, or Control D for the Windows users. Okay, so let's have a look. So the first thing we could do is we could just simply reverse the clip. This always goes for the whole clip, no matter if you've got a certain part selected or not. So we can just play this now. So this could be something that you could just put in in between, for example. Um, we're going to copy this first clip again, just going to keep this and then paste it here. And then let's have a look at what else we have in the sample box. So next up, we've got transpose here. So I could just let's make sure this one is selected. So it will start playing. So we could just use transpose. <coughs> And as you can hear, it, it changes the sound quite dramatically, um, but it doesn't change the length because we have the warp warp on, and um, it also depends a little bit on the warp mode, but we're going to have a look at all the warping f features um, in the next video. So um, we could just go, let's see. This is an option. Let's see, like we've got another clip here. I'm gonna stop this one now. So this is already transposed. So this is the original. So this one is uh, quite melodic, um, so if you want to make sure that the key always fits, the best way to do that is to just transpose in 12 subtones, because that constitutes an octave. Okay, so I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to duplicate the clip. So this is very low, so you can almost hear nothing anymore. 
here and you now be basically have a almost like a baseline if you you know made some more changes so we could just you know play the first one then go over to the next one so this is like a very simple way to just to create some variations for a clip and another thing we can do is like here as I said this one basically has um, two bars but this the first and the second bar are identical so we could just you know change the loop braces so that the length is just one bar long you can also add this uh, here in in the numbers but uh, i find it always easy to just drag so we c what we could do is also we could just say like okay we'll just play this one I would just take the whole thing. And we could duplicate this one and then move this one over here. And that gives you more variations again. And another thing we could do, I'm going to switch over perhaps to the conga clip again. And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to copy and paste the first one for this one. And here in the warp section already, we can divide or multiply the basically the BPM of the clip. So if I multiply it by two and I play it It sounds quite different, you know, and like the length is longer. And then we could, you know, lose the loop braces again and say like, okay, we just want to take the first bar because now we've got two bars because we've multiplied it. Let's copy and paste this one again. And we could divide this. It's got quite a hectic feel now, but you know it could be nice depending on what you're planning to do. Um, I'm going to show you the same with the first loop. This is rhythmical, so let's divide this by two and play it, and we've got basically drum and bass all of a sudden. So this was the first part uh, of the four-part mini-series Beyond the One Bar Loop. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye!